What's up guys and welcome back to Broken Age on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode we made our way into the belly of the ship Ashe, and now we have the hammer which I guess we can use on the drum, but for now, let's see what this big old lever does. Maybe something interesting? Ooh. There, now the power's back on, I think. Well, I hope so. Um, that would be helpful. Either way, let's uh... Ooh, okay, it definitely is back on now. So what is with this? Somebody stole the switch. If we can find the switch, that'd be helpful because right now... <laughs> well, it was you, but you didn't steal the switch, you stole a hammer. So I'm guessing it won't work. Like, maybe that the power is on? This will do well, something? It's a drum mallet now. My drum mallet. <laughs> you own it. Okay, then. So, if we go back, we should be able to go in here and see how this works. They should still, yep, they're still jamming out to the harp. So what's this going to do for us? I don't know if much of anything. Um, Let's see. Boom. Hey, that thing's still pretty loud. Yeah. <laughs> Sound doesn't deteriorate over time. All right, then let's... Clean up the instruments after. Okay, so we won't put that back yet. What about the spoon? I don't see anything there I want to eat. I mean, you could use it as another drumstick. Okay, then. Um, with that being said, I think we just need to slide back up. I don't know much more of what we could do, but you can see that the power seems to be heading back up the ship. So maybe we can talk to Alex, and I'm just so glad I can remember his name now. Oh, yeah, something's happening here. Uh, let's try it. Um, that thing sure is giving off a lot of heat. Hello? Yeah, because of the electricity. Sure Alright, then maybe we can talk to him a bit, hey, see what's going on. Alex? Not now, Shay. I need to get through to someone who can get us out of this mess. Alright, so he's being a dingus and won't listen to us. Maybe I could just hit it with a hammer. Yeah, that's the point. Reason to do that. Um, try this? Use this button. I can just push it. Yeah. Alright then. Um, I think that this'll hey, just... what gives? Gary, don't you feel like grabbing? Uh-oh. That should have worked. Did my mom override the manual controls? The one time I think the solution actually is a hug, my mom says no. <laughs> okay then, so with that being said, I think that's everything we can do over here for now, maybe? Um, if I look around, it does not look like there's any many other options upon us. So, I could talk to them. I don't know. You guys just sit tight. We're gonna figure this out real soon, okay? Alright, so they don't have anything. I think she's Sorry, begrudging me. I had to take your friend away. He was needed for an important purpose. That's what they said about my sister. Oh, this is different though, because we're using it to save your sister. All right, then let's switch over to her sister, Vela, and see what's going on here. Um, hmm. We're I'm really not too sure. Uh, we have the uh, hexagon. Maybe she can do something. I don't know. It's just a matter of figuring it out. All right. Well, now with the window being open, hopefully we can run up here and do this again. I don't know. It will work. It will, but Alex is up here right now. So, I think the th problem is we need to distract Alex, right? What? Not again. Bella, when are you gonna get control of your temper? So he's gonna go shut down the power. Like, the power's gonna be off now, right? That's what I'm assuming? Or it can just be a black what screen forever. Oh. Again. Ah. oh, come on. We were this close to a real meltdown. Quit being such a fraidy cat, Alex. Okay, so some way, somehow, we need to distract Alex so that hopefully we can do that, and then we have to find out how to distract Mom for the hugging. Maybe that's what we gotta do. It's like, maybe we have to do one before the other. I'm not really sure. So I've been running around for a good little while trying to figure out what to do, but I think... I don't wanna hit that. You, do you wanna take him away from his stuff, maybe? Yeah, that's enough heart music for now. Okay, so we can take him. Can I give him the hammer and make make noise? Oh, we can. So can he hit the drum? Oh, he'll just keep playing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's try something else then. Um, can we bring him towards the uh the drum here and, and use him on the drum? I don't know what's gonna happen. No, <laughs> he's That's just. A very loud way to play the drums. But maybe it's a jazz thing. So he has the harp setting on right now. So if we could find out what the um, you know what? Let's go to Vela's because she has a hexy pal too. <laughs> it's a pretty fifty-fifty thing. Let's see. What will she do? Ah, okay. That is very similar to a drum. So what does she have? Okay, I think I can do this then. All right. That sort of makes sense. I just gotta mentally remember this and hopefully it works. Will this do it? 
It will! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> Everybody's hey, jabbing what's out! What's going on down here? Put those things down and be quiet, please. I'm trying to talk to Laruna upstairs and I can't even hear myself. Now put that down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, they're fighting for it. <laughs> the battle is on. So he actually might be distracted now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we go back up, the power's not on anymore. So we gotta go turn the power back on, then switch to Vela, and this should work. So let's quickly jot on over there. We're just gonna run. <laughs> Use those legs, Jay, use them well. And then let's press this button. All right, hopefully this thwarts Alex, but I'm not sure. Let's go over here. And... So we're gonna have to do something similar with Mom at some point in time, but let's first focus on Alex. She's gonna run up here, and we're just gonna use this on there. Um, There we go, okay, it's working. Hopefully we can get an over overheat then, I would hope. Um, What? Not again. What? Bella, when are you gonna get control of But he was temper? distracted downstairs. That makes no sense. How'd this thing get set again? I have no idea. That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no how how did he get it then? What? Like, okay, I'm turning this back on. I don't understand. There's no way he could have gone up there that quickly. For some reason, it has him back here, playing with sure? the heart pattern again. I don't know if the game like didn't save it properly, so this way, I turned on the power first, and now I'm gonna do the drumming thing, and hopefully that does something different. All right, he's definitely in that room now. If this doesn't work, I'm clueless. I am just, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's not there this time. Should we do something about that? Oh, I don't think we should touch the young man's things, dear. Uh-oh. Hopefully uh -oh. this doesn't explode like everything. That old ship is having some sort of radiation meltdown. Space Weaver, evasive action. I told you, Captain. I cannot override the path once. If we're touching that ship when it melts down, we'll melt down too. Are you telling me that the Model 6X doesn't even have the basic self-preservation and hazardous object avoidance capability of a Series 4? Ooh. Oh, sure. Play that card. Backing up. <laughs> Got him. Okay, then cool. This is making progress, but is this good progress? We need them to be holding on to them, right? We want to melt down. Uh oh. Hmm. I don't know what to do then. This is going crazy. It really looks like it's going to melt down soon. I sure hope he has an escape plan. Well, we do too, but at this. <laughs> I don't think they will. <laughs> I don't know. We got to keep figuring this out, though. What can we do now? Maybe we can go back and talk to Mom, and she'll give us a little more information. What? Well, there's only one way to find out, of course. Oh, no! I skipped the cutscene! No! I didn't mean to do that! So it looks like uh, Alex actually re-enabled this. So that's what happened there. I'm sorry for skipping the cutscene. It wasn't on purpose, I promise. But, um, hmm. So we need to actually make it so that Mom can grab on to this ship first. So let's try to figure that out now. I really don't know any leads for that. Like, how can we turn off the manual controls? Maybe we can talk to Weaver Man here and see. Uh, they're still bickering. Um, how about this? I just got an idea. I don't know if this is gonna work, but if we can find out how to use the harp on this, Maybe it'll make it go crazy. I don't remember the harp one now, though. So this is bad. Ah. <laughs> Evocative. But okay, then we got it. I actually had to review review some footage from the last episode to figure it out because I didn't want to hop back and forth because I'd also have to reprogram the other harp to really figure it out. So hopefully this isn't too much cheating, but let's see what this does. I don't know. We've done a complete flip-flop at this point. Oh, my. Hey. <laughs> Space Weaver, report. I'm experiencing severe. <laughs> what? What is it? Are you damaged? Stop! Stop it, please! <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm coming right down. My yawns! <laughs> His laughter is contagious. Good job, little girl. You keep them both occupied for a while, okay? 
Alrighty then, so hopefully, 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 hopefully we can find out how to turn off everything else. I don't know where she is, but apparently she's supposed to be here. Um, let's see if I, oh, there she is. Watch my controls for a bit, would you? Our navigation bot seems to be malfunctioning. I shouldn't be gone too long. Okay then, so hopefully we've gotten to the bottom of some things here. And, um, if we could get the controls back on now, that would be all we need, but how in the world do we do that? I mean, she changed it from the control room, so hopefully we can too. Um, now that she is distracted, let's try this really quickly. We're going to turn the central controls off. Let's hope this isn't the self-destruct button. Come on, boom, explosion. Nope, that's manual. All right, now we could switch over to Shane. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a little loopy, I think. <laughs> Hopefully when I leave this room, she won't come by and be back. Like, what happens now if I go back? Is she still distracted? Please be distracted still. Okay, she is. All right then, so we're gonna go back and then we're going to do basically everything again, and hopefully that all works. All right, I'm gonna use Crab and Gary here. Hmm. What's? I think we're in range, but nothing's happening. Uh oh. Getting interference from the outer hull. I need to find a clearer shot. Oh, he needs to go upstairs now. This is really tough to figure out. Um, so which order do I want to do this in? Let's try it from here. We're going to go back. And since Vela is in here, and the controls are definitely what they should be, let's try using this. Didn't work that time, but it should have. Alex? Oh no, I gotta turn on the electricity, dang it! <laughs> There's too many variables, it's sort of tough. All right then, back is Vela. Can I do this? I'm gonna just sort of skip the cutscene. It's gonna go off. Um, now what? <laughs> she can't leave this room, or Alex will come back upstairs and turn it off. So, I think we need to keep her in this room. We're going to switch over to, to Shay here, go upstairs, and then use Grab and Gary from up there, and see if that works. I really, really hope it does, because I'm clueless if not. It's going to be very, just a lot of experimenting. But let's Gary? use, come on, do it, Gary. Be my man, come on, Gary. It's working, he's grabbing on. Don't let go, Gary. Good work, Gary. It's an honor to be grabbed by such a professional. Oh my. What's gonna happen now? Everybody's gonna explode. We're still being shot at, by the way. It's too late. The meltdown has started. Everybody, out! Oh gosh, they're coming too. Uh-oh, Shay's stuck in the rubble here. The other ship is melting down and it's taking us with it! Over here! You have to jump! I'll catch you! Watch uh -oh. out! Be ready to catch him! Oh no! Hey! It's Merrick! Merrick! <coughs> Ooh! <laughs> oh. I thought you were a <coughs> baker! Well, she just baked your cake. Yeah, I can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> that mustache smile. Shay! Mom! Jump, son! Oh no. Is it really going to be far enough? Oh no. He missed. She! Could it 
be. Gary? It's Gary! Gary! No! Gary, get out of there! No! Gary! Please, Gary! Well, down go the ships in a spectacular meltdown, to say the least. Oh, now it's a bridge. Look at all the people we've united in this adventure. This is so dang cool. So, there we go. Oh my gosh, we finally did it, guys. We unbroke Broken Age. The worlds are connected. The bridge has been made. But unfortunately, I'm sort of confused. Um, obviously, the people within the Plague Dam had some pretty bad intentions that we didn't really get to see, you know, plan out. Well, I'm sort of curious as to what happens at this point. Does Shay and Vela and their whole group of family and friends go out back into the world and try to gather people to take on <laughs> take on the play den? I have no idea. Maybe it's just something left up to be the to the imagination. But either way, this has been one incredible series that has been so much dang fun to play through. I wasn't actually expecting to end the game today, so I'm a little put off to say the least. But either way, it has been really fun to play this game. This was completely blind, which means, you know, it was just me trying to figure out the game and you guys were patient with that and had just as much fun as I did whenever the series had to stop for a bit for me to figure out the game. You guys were always like, oh, where's the next episode, which I love so much. You guys enjoyed the game just as much as I did. Simply, one of the best story writing, like some of the best story writing in the game or any, any game I've really played and it's fantastic and wonderful. I cannot wait to see more games like this. If you didn't know, this game was made possible by Kickstarters. You know, people who kickstarted the game, millions of dollars from Kickstarter money, which is so dang awesome. It looks like uh, Mr. Dude Man does take on the uh, thing. Wait a minute. Is the grandma actually, oh my gosh, did you guys see that? The grandma from the beginning of the game was actually a stinking Merrick type guy. That makes so much sense. <laughs> What? How did I realize? Ne like, never realize that. <laughs> 3D hyperdrift. <laughs> He's the best in the world at it. <laughs> but really, guys, this has been so fantastic. To be honest, this is like this Act Two has been fantastic. Act One was so much, just as much awesome. It's just, oh, so stinking awesome. I love games like this. I can't wait to play more of them as they come out. I'm thinking about doing uh, um, or is it Army Krog, which is another point and click game coming out later this month. Let me know what you guys think about that. Oh, <laughs> and Twilight's selling stuff. Curtis is selling stuff. That's really cool. This, uh, I love this credit scene. It's sort of shedding some light on what happens after the story, which is fantastic. The ending was pretty cool. Like I said, I didn't expect it though. So that's a little, Saddening, but also awesome. But either way, like I said, your support on every single video matters so much and helps me out so much. So if you have liked the videos, commented on them, subscribed through this series, or even just watched them simply and decided not to, not to do any of that other stuff, I still ve do very much appreciate it. So thank you so much for your support. It matters to me so very much. And aw, hardcore graphic design. <laughs> Hotel, motel, holiday. <laughs> They're studying together. We still never saw their faces, but at least they are in a relationship now. Oh my gosh, I love this credits. It's my, my, like my favorite credits ever, except for like Knack when he dances at the end. But either way, <laughs> it is so great to be seeing a happy, happy ending between all of the worlds, be between both ages. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.